Google Docs is a great way to get information from your students or from other teachers in terms of a feedback form or perhaps even a peer or self-assessment of presentations. I'm going to begin by showing you how to set up a survey and then in a, um, a later broadcast we'll talk about how to set it up for different groups and give different people access. So that your first step is to log into Google Documents. You do need a Gmail account for this and we're actually going to create a Google form. When you open your Google form, you'll be asked to give it a title and then some uh, information about how the form should be filled out. Once you have that information filled in, your next step is to begin creating your questions. You have many question types and depending on the information you want, you'll want to choose a different type, keeping in mind that all of this will be given back to you in a spreadsheet. It can be converted to graphical summaries of responses, but it will show up initially on a spreadsheet. For the purposes of this, I would actually like a grid because that's going to allow me to create multiple questions using the same rating scale. My first set of questions is going to be around layout. And so I'm going to give the question title layout. And then I'm going to fill in the columns for the rating scale. And I actually only want four. From here, I need to begin to create the rows. These rows are going to be the actual questions. And because they are in the question title layout, they will all have to do with the layout. Now that I have written in all of the different row labels, I have to decide if this is a required or optional question. I am going to begin to create a second question simply by clicking here on the pencil and you can see what the first question will now look like. The second question will be in relation to movement. Once again when I finish creating the question I hit done and I would now like to add another question and this one will be around the topic of balance. I will also create a question around contrast and variety. Now that I have created all of my grid type questions, you can see what they look like here. I'm going to add one more question and that is a text option. I'm actually going to make it paragraph text which will allow the students to provide any other feedback. and this question will not be required. When I have finished doing all of that, I want to likely change the theme to something a little bit more visually appealing. For this, as it's a presentation, I'm going to go with something that looks somewhat presentation creation-like, which is this glue bottle. And that will show me what my actual form will now look like. As long as I'm happy with that, I click apply and my form is now created. I can email this form or I can embed it into another page if I wish. I can also provide a confirmation which states to the students that their information has in fact been recorded. In this case, I would just like a link to this form that I am then going to put up on the screen for students to respond with. To shorten that link, I would actually like to use bit.ly. So I'm going to go to bit.ly and create a link, which is here. And one can access bit.ly by going to http colon slash slash bit.ly and it will then allow you to create a, uh, a bit.ly link which is much shorter and easier for the students to work with. This shows you how to create the form. My next section will show you how to share it with multiple different classes.